Hello there! In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can add the classic black and white effect to your clips in DaVinci Resolve and this is how it will look. Also, as a bonus, I'm gonna show you guys how you can add a very basic, non-customizable film grain to your clip. So without any further ado, let's get started. Now as you can see, I've taken this widescreen video in my timeline which I've downloaded from mixkit.com. Great website if you want to download stock footage. The link to the website is available in the description. You can go right ahead. Alright, so the first thing that I'm gonna show you is how to add the black and white effect. Now DaVinci Resolve doesn't really have a drag and drop effect for black and white. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the color tab down here. Just click on it. Then we're gonna down the saturation as you can see S80. Click on it, drag it all the way down to left and make it zero. And we have a black and white clip. But if you look at this clip, it lacks contrast. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a bit of contrast to it. There is a contrast option right here, but we're not gonna use that. We're gonna use something that is much more customizable, much more flexible. So we're gonna use curves. Now you might ask me what are curves? Someone who uses Photoshop must actually know what are curves, but I'll teach you it in a simpler manner. What we're gonna do is just click on this line right here, up here and down here. Two dots, okay, one, two. Now the dot that is on the bottom left, if you drag it down, it will make the dark colors more darker. So as this is a black and white footage, it will make the blacks blacker if I drag it down. So this was the normal thing. I'll drag it down and it will make the blacks black. And this dot up here, it will make the whites whiter if you push it upwards. See? So we have added a bit of contrast to the footage. Now you can play with these two dots according to your footage. You can keep any values that you want, but I'll keep this basic S kind of thing. Okay. So. I'll drag it up here, this much is fine and the whites are fine. So this is how our clip will look and we have successfully converted the clip to a black and white clip. If I go full screen and show it to you, as you can see, see much cleaner. Alright, so the first part is done. We have converted the clip to black and white. Now, like I said, we're going to add a very basic non-customizable film grain. How we're going to do it? I've taken this little clip of film grain from YouTube. The link to the video and the download link both are available in the description. You can download it from there. Just to mention it again, I do not own this clip. All credits to the owner. Thank you for providing with this clip. Now, all we have to do is drag in this clip above the clip that you're using. Now, I'm just gonna zoom it in a bit. 1.130 will do it. And once you have the film grain, all you have to do is scroll down in the inspector tab and go to composite mode. See, composite mode is normal. All you have to do, just click on it and go to add and we're done. Now, if I play the clip, I go full screen. As you can see, a black and white clip with film gray. That's all you have to do. Now, if I go back, if you think that the film grain is too fast or too slow for you, just basically right click on this, go to change clip speed and just take it down to, let's say 50 and you're good to go. And I'm going to cut all of this part out because we don't need it. And we have the final clip. So that's it for the video guys. I hope you find this video useful and if you do, Make sure you like this video, it really helps the algorithm suggest this video to the needful people. Also share this video with your friends and finally consider subscribing to the channel. I post such how-to tech videos, tech reviews, I stream games on the channel every week and I post informative and knowledgeable YouTube shots. So that brings us to the end of the video guys. Thank you for watching the video. See you next time.